Welcome. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies. In this video, we will show you the tasks listed on this slide to audit Oracle Database Vault in mixed mode. In this video, I'll show you how to audit Oracle Database Vault in mixed mode. This video is based on the assumption that the Database Vault is configured and enabled in an Oracle Database release 12102 or later, and that unified auditing is not yet configured. When you install a new database and configure it to use Database Vault, then by default it uses a mixed mode environment that is a mixture of unified auditing and pre-migrated auditing. If you have upgraded from previous release, then Database Vault uses the auditing that was available with that release. All configuration changes made to Database Vault are mandatorily audited, including actions of unprivileged users who attempt to modify Database Vault policies. In a mixed mode environment, you can create audit policies by using the Database Vault APIs, the DBMS, MAC, ADM, PLSQL package, or the Database Vault pages in Cloud Control. The audit records are written to Database Vault's audit trail, which is told in Divisus Audit Trails dollar. You can query the subviews, the Divisus DV$ configuration audit and the DV$ enforcement audit for these audit records. To see how big your audit trail is in mixed mode, you can count the rows in dvsys.audit_trail$. And as you see, we have 9 here. Let's look at the configuration audit subview. The output shows you some sample records. In the first row, you see that Database Vault was enabled, then that the HR application Realm was created, an object was added, then the Realm was updated, it was changed from regular to mandatory. Next, another Realm was created, an object added, and that Realm was deleted. All of these activities were done in a previous video. The DV$ Enforcement Audit view provides audit information when users violate Oracle Database Vault policies. Here, in a non-unified audit environment, violations of the Oracle Database Vault components are audited and recorded. Both of these rows show that the HR Schema user was trying to select rows from the employees table that is secured by a mandatory realm. And it has the return code 1031, insufficient privileges. To purge the audit trail, the security administrator must have the DV audit cleanup role, which is new with Oracle Database 12C. Logged in with SysDBA privileges, you can see that select and detail privileges are given with this role for the audit underscore trail dollar table. Use the delete command to clean the audit trail. We just looked at some examples how to audit Oracle Database Vault T in mixed mode. These steps are listed again on the slide. The next step is to enable unified auditing, and there are multiple training possibilities for that. There are Oracle University courses, self-studies, product documentation. One of the simplest ways is to use the Oracle Learning Library, OLL, which has an auditing with unified audit OBE. Thanks for watching.